Welcome to Reconfidence with Pops. I'm your partner in creating the life you desire and deserve. And if this is your first time, Karibu Sana. And if you're coming back, good to see you again. And so in the abuse series, today we are focusing on boundaries because boundaries is one of the ways you recover from abusive spaces. Whether it's a work relationship, an intimate relationship, friendships, you recover through um, boundaries. And boundaries is simply an invisible line that shows where you end, where the other person begins, and where the other person begins and where you end. And it's a very, very, um, it's a very, very important space to be able to define in all your relationships. So we have boundaries, different boundaries in different relationships, you know. And um, one of the things that I really appreciate about boundaries it's the fact that after we've gone through abuse, we need to be able to come to a place where we are taking charge and taking back. Uh, responsibility for our lives because sometimes we had released ourselves to the abuser we were living at their masses you know just allowing things to go south over and again but when you set boundaries it means that you are now willing to take responsibility for your life and you know what works for you and so how do you set a boundary number one first of all you need to define the violations like what have you done that i don't agree with that i don't accept that is demeaning that is hurtful that is uh, demoralizing in how we relate so you need to be able to define all those. And so as you're defining the violations, just be as honest as you can with yourself first in terms of how does it make me feel and what can I do about it? And so boundaries means that first of all, I am defining that space of this is hurtful, this is unacceptable in my life. And then the second step in setting boundaries is having consequences. And so you ask yourself now, if this is happening and it's hurtful, what do I need to do about it? And it's because every relationship functions from a place of cause effect. And so there's the cause in terms of what you did and then there's the effect in terms of what will happen. And so in boundaries, first of all, you set the violations or you define them and then now you come to a place of deciding the consequences. And then the third step is enforcing. And in enforcing, I come to this relationship and I'm like, okay, so this has been happening. Probably if it's a work situation, you first of all decided that this uh, supervisor disrespects me they don't hear me out, they shout me down, they shut me, they keep me out of the projects and it's hurtful. And then consequences is what will I do next time it happens? Because I need to be willing to realize I'm not responsible for them, but I'm responsible for myself. And I need to look at what protection looks like to me. And so when you set the consequences, the third place is now being able to communicate it. And so in communicating is being able to realize that it's not enough for me to have boundaries if nobody knows about them. And... When you're setting a meeting for communication, one of the things I always recommend, just make sure that first of all, you are calm, you are not upset. There's nothing that is really out of tangent at that moment. And so even if it's, let's say, an intimate relationship, it'll just be like, we've not fought, there's no conflict, but I just feel like we need to be in a good place together. And so I'll come and I'm like, um, but then can we have coffee next week? There's something I need to communicate or can we uh, probably just meet? And then when you meet, that is when you set the boundaries. First of all, communicate the violations. This is what has been happening. This is how it, it's making me feel. And this is what I will do next time it happens. And then, of course, after you've communicated, you need to follow through with your consequences. Make sure that you are willing to go all out. And if you are violated, you're willing to step up. And it's always easy to set boundaries with people we don't know. Probably it's just a disclaimer that the most intimate relationships are the most difficult places to set boundaries but they're the places where boundaries are needed the most and if you have courage to set boundaries with the most intimate relationships then it means every other relationship will just find its place even the new ones to just be able to define from the word go how things will go and of course when you think about the boundaries the other thing that is important to mention it's the fact that i am responsible for myself i'm not responsible for the other person and so as i said the boundaries it's about what works for me but at the same time, I'm mindful of them. In terms of whatever I'm asking for is not unreasonable. It's not unrealistic. It's not unachievable. It needs to be a smart boundary so that it's something that we can come back to. And the other thing, it's a boundary, not a wall, because walls are permanent. Walls keep out things. But a boundary is something that is flexible, meaning that if situations change, I can review the boundary. Boundary is like a gate. And so you open, you come in, and then you can go out and it's protecting both ends. And so even the person who wants to come in, they need to, to, to be able to access. And also myself, I need to be able to access them if I need to go out. And so they're not resentful places. They're just places to keep things safe. And of course, when you're thinking about abusive relationships, it's the fact that 
so many things that have been violated. Probably it's because there was no communication. I had not put my foot down in terms of what I expect from the relationship. And so when um, the violation happens, when abuse happens, that is a good place to now start bringing up the boundary conversation because you want things to go better in future spaces. And anybody who doesn't respect your boundaries, it means they don't respect you and probably there is someone that you don't need in your life. And so if, you, if I share boundary concerns with you and then you push back and then uh, probably... Um, let's say you've told me perhaps I don't like the way you treat me or the way you have been talking to me and then I push back probably I gaslight I minimize what's happening to you it shows that I am not a healthy person to have in your life and so as you're thinking about boundaries communicating helps you to know whether that person is respectful or not because by the end of the day it's about what works for me and so get the courage to set boundaries in your life because you know what by the end of the day you're responsible for yourself you're responsible for your peace of mind you're responsible uh, for your joy and you're also responsible for your ultimate destiny by having people in your life that respect you that honor who you are and they honor treating you the right way and so we'll see you in the next one please subscribe like share and comment down below ciao